Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a short video blog update on my Iron Man suit. As you can see, I've thrown some paint at the suit today. Uh, most of it at least. I've still got the boots and the thighs to deal with. And also I need to paint the sections that haven't yet been made, like the kidney plate and uh, the pieces that fill in the sections between the suit. Uh, last time I covered putting the hand plate and the laser weapon as well as the repulsor into the arms and the hands. There are several videos on that if you check them out in my channel. The next stage is going to be making the brightest unibeam in the world. So contrary to popular belief, the light that shows through Iron Man's chest isn't in fact his arc reactor, it's another weapon, which is an incredibly big repulsor. So I'm going to be using some incredibly bright LEDs for that. I've ordered some 10 watt LEDs, which need a heat sink so they don't burn up. And they draw around an amping current each at 9 to 10 volts. So I've ordered six of those. I'm not sure if that's going to be too bright to look at, but I think it probably will. So they're either going to be one, three or six of those LEDs um, in the chest. So it's going to be powered off 10 1.2 volt rechargeable AA cells. And I think they'll probably last about five or 10 minutes powering all of those. So watch out for that in the future. I've also got the next part of the motorized faceplate coming. I've just painted the helmet. If you look in my channel, there was one where I covered the mechanism, which I did 3D printing um, using a servo to get the angle of leverage correct. And in the next one, I'm going to show you how to program the electronics. The other big change, which I've mentioned several times before, but now I've painted up the parts, I'm ready to do it, is to replace all of the metal strapping system, which is rather messy, heavy, and quite sharp on the edges, with 3D printed um, equivalents. So there's still going to be some strips of aluminium, but there'll be 3D printed latches, and instead of these dog leads, which I got from the dollar store, um, I'll have proper sort of semi-rigid parts with 3D printed buckles and magnetic catches that latch together. So that's going to hold the shoulder bell on, which is currently attached with an elastic band. And it's also going to allow the strapping system to be fixed inside the pieces, so that the torso back and front fit together, and then these pieces sort of plug into it. And obviously the side plates, which are missing, will all plug together. So you can basically put the suit on without any strapping system underneath, which is what I've done previously. And that should make things much easier. And that will also enable me to build the machine that puts the suit on in the future, which is the plan. So, so far all the pieces have been planned so that a machine can easily place them. Um, it's quite a trivial task, provided you stand still and they stay in place. So I need to work on that and refine them a bit further. And then of course go through the entire suit doing the same thing and painting the missing pieces. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for updates. Also check out the description for the link to my Facebook page, Google Plus page, Twitter and Pinterest. You can follow me on there for more photos and updates.